Merry meet everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to look at this oracle card. So ages ago I got this box of everyday witch tarot. And this would have to be my favourite tarot cards. So this is just what they just I'll just give you uh, one look at one. And so when I saw the everyday witches oracle cards, I was very excited. So let's go in and have a look. I haven't even opened this yet. I thought we'd open it together. Just there we go. This cat these cards I got from a place called Tarotopia and I will link their um, web page in the description below and my lovely skull candle here is Lunar Moth Galactic Skies and I got this from Tragic Beautiful so let's open this box and have a look. I'm so excited to get these cards because I really, really, really love the tarot cards. So I was very excited when I saw these. Okay. Come out like that. Just put that over there. So these are the Everyday Witch Oracle by Deborah Blake. So it comes with a book with all the information in. And here's the cards. This is what the back looks like. So let's go through them and have a look. I hope you guys can see this. The light isn't that great. Just go and switch another light on. Let's see if that's any better. Nope. Mm -hmm. It's squiggling around in my chair, sorry. All right, let's do this again. So this is Contact with Gaia. Hibernation and Restoration. Hope you can see these. Meditation to Dig Deep. Ground and Center, Earth Magic, Plant Seeds, Strength and Resilience, Affirmation for Growth, Prosperity in Abundance. Wish my garden looked like that. Seasonal harvest. Wonder if this is giving me a hint I should get in the garden. Imagine and envision. There we go. I have to imagine and envision my garden's beautiful. Listening to wisdom. Meditation for clarity. Gratitude and thanks. Air magic, learn from life, prayers and wisdom, affirmation for acceptance, speak your mind, how many of us don't do that, hey? Transformation and change. Sun and stars, 
accept love. Meditation for creativity. Inspiration and courage. Fire magic. Give in to passion. Follow your dreams. Affirmation for healing the heart. Give love. Joy and delight. Healing waters. Cleansing body and spirit. Who else uses a bath to cleanse? Meditation for peace and serenity. I think that's what we need at the moment. Change and progress. Water magic. Make a move. Go with the flow. Affirmation for positive change. Tears of joy and sadness. Rebirth and reinvention. So, and these cards are quite large as well, which I really like. So let's give them a shuffle and pick a card out for today and we'll have a look in the book to see what it means. I'll just... So I hope you guys are taking care of yourself in these trying times, looking after yourself and your family. You can hear that snoring in the background. That's my dog under my chair, snoring his head hop as he does. So I've shuffled those. I don't go to the side. Go to that side, that side, that side. Split. Rebirth and regeneration and reinvention is the card that came up. So let's have a look in the book and see what that says. So it says we are all born and someday we will die. Along the way we recreate ourselves either intentionally or through circumstances beyond our control. Becoming far different from the children, teens or young adults we once were. For many of us, finding a new spiritual faith is a kind of rebirth. For some, it is the discovery or acceptance of a different sexuality or gender identity, a change in career, finding or losing love, becoming a parent or losing your own. For women, menopause often causes a huge shift in how we see ourselves and retirement can do that too. Embrace each life-shaking change as it happens, as frightening or unsettling as it may be, and rejoice in your rebirth as a new person. So the action is think about all the main changes in your life that have taken over the years and how you have changed from where you started out because of them. Are you happy with the person you are now? Put a candle in a cupcake and celebrate who you turned out to be. If you are not happy with the person you are now, put the cap candle in the cupcake anyway. But when you light it, vow to rebirth yourself and become the best you can. So this card is an indication of one or two things. Either you are in the midst of your own coming out of a big shift, in which case it is time to celebrate your rebirth, or you're overdue to reinvent yourself, and this card's a push in that direction. So 
So there we go. She's coming out of the water. And actually it's quite poignant too at the moment because the colours in this card are yellows and blues, which are the colours of the Ukraine and they're at war at the moment. So keep them in your prayers and in your meditation, guys, as well as your own transformation and reinvention. I think there's some of this going on in the world at the moment as well with the war going on and all the uncertainty that's causing. So guys, take care of yourself. Thank you so much for tuning in. Till next time, take care of yourself and your own and merry part.